So what I'm going to try and do is show you from the start how to get the solution to the level crossing. So we'll open the level crossing mimic. And there we are. I'm going to move it over slightly because it's a little bit in the way for this large flow chart. And I'm going to begin where we always need to begin with a start symbol. Okay, next, I'm going to set up the default settings that it's going to return back to once the train has departed. So that is all of the lights off except the red signal, which will be on. Now that's this signal here it's referring to, and the train cannot pass a red signal. So the green signal needs to be off, and the barriers will be off. That's the default settings. Next, we're going to ask a question. Has trip A up here been tripped? So it's a diamond for a question or a decision. Is trip A on? And the answer to that will be either yes or no. Is trip A on? And if trip A is indeed on, it's going to jump to a subroutine. Now, subroutines don't appear until we start one. So I need the start lozenge. But instead of putting start in, I put sub. And then add the name of the subroutine. And in this case, it will be train approaching. So I've now got a subroutine that started and you'll notice that I get this new symbol, the call subroutine symbol, which I can place underneath my diamond. So I now have two possible routes. I've got the sub train approaching, which I'm clicking on. I'm not going to get it to repeat, so I'm just going to click OK, but now I can use my black arrow to draw the two paths. So start in the diamond, choose the yes route and go down, and then go back, click again, and the no route will be back above. So now we've got this scenario where unless the trip is actually triggered, it will loop and stay in this endless loop here. When it is triggered, it will go down to here, which will jump to here. Now before I get any further, I must complete this beginning flowchart and it needs one loop back to the start. So that is a standalone program which will call various subroutines. So next the subroutine for the train approaching. Now I did explain in the video that my memory of the traffic, uh, the control signals at Navigation Road is that the amber lights come on first. So our output parallelogram should have the red left light off and right light off. That's the top ones. They stay off at first. The amber light comes on. The red signal for the train will still be on. Green signal will be off. The barriers will be off. Say so, OK. That's the first in the sequence and I want that to occur for about two seconds so I'm going to put a delay of two seconds now if your lines aren't drawing in for you you'll need to draw them in manually using the black line drawing tool and you can do that by clicking in the cell above and then the one below where you want the line to draw if anything needs deleting then you need the white arrow you highlight what you want to delete and then grey X to delete it. So to draw a line, click in the cell, and then the cell where you want it to end, and you get your line drawn for you. So after this, that two second delay with the amber on, I then want these lights to flash. Now there are several ways of making lights flash, and I'm only going to show you the simplest. There are more complex ways of doing this, but I'll show you one simple way, and that's using copy and paste. So we're going to go for the output symbol. Now, we want the left light on first, so the right light will be off. The amber light can stay on. The red signal for the train can stay on. Green signal off, barriers off. That's the first light flashing. Now we want that only to occur for a short time. 
So we want the delay to be reasonably short, 0.2 of a second. So now I want that to swap over. So my output goes beneath. I started with left on, so I'm going to have off and then on for the right. Amber light will remain on, red signal on, green signal off, barriers off. Okay, and I need my delay to be 0.2 seconds. Now that is done insofar as the lights will flash left and right. I want that to occur two or three times. So I'm going to use a little bit of copy paste. I'm going to draw a box around those four symbols. I'm going to control C to copy. And I'm going to come up here and control V to place them. And I'm also going to do that again, control V, because I want the whole thing to occur a few times. Now you've noticed that I haven't drawn, joined these together, so I'm going to do that now. So my black line goes from delay two up to here. There's one missing here to here. And at the bottom, I need just gone off screen. But after that delay two, I want another cell up here for it to go to. And that's going to be another call subroutine but I haven't got the subroutine yet, so I need to write the start of a new one. And it's going to be here. I can see that my train mimic is in the way, so I'm going to get rid for the time being. I need a new subroutine, and this one is called barriers down. Subroutine that's going to force the barriers to go down. Okay. And now my call subroutine will have that in it. Barriers down. No repeat. Okay. But I need to make sure that I have completed my flow. So I'm going to go from that last delay up to this subroutine barriers down. Okay. Now this, sub, this little uh, subroutine is effectively finished at that point, so it's very important, nothing will work properly if we don't put a stop at the end of the subroutine. Okay, that means that that particular subroutine will jump to here, so this one needs a stop at the end. All subroutines need a start and a stop. Now the sub for barriers down is the first time that we're going to move the barriers. So we'll look at the outputs first. Now, the left light stopped flashing, so I think we're going to leave them on, all the lights on for now, including the amber light. The red signal finally can turn off because the barriers are going down, and we'll put the green signal on. If we don't do that now, we'll forget about doing it, and it won't be correct. So now we need the barriers to move. So we've got these two buttons here, FD, short for forward, and reverse, or re rev, short for reverse. Forward makes the barriers go down, Reverse makes them go up. And then the power, the speed at which they operate, will just set to full power, 100%. Now that will take some time, so we must still allow that to happen. So I'm going to put in a delay. Now, if you think about it, we've got this second trip. The train is coming around, and it gets here, and the barriers will be down, and the lights will have changed. Now we could use that trip to determine whether the train has got to it or not. So I'm gonna put a new decision next. This decision is gonna go here, and it's gonna ask a question, this time, is trip B on? So the barriers will continue to go down until the train hits trip B. And if trip B is hit, I'm then going to have a delay. Two seconds. So let's do some wiring up. So first of all, from here to here. And then my question has two answers. If trip B is not on, 
it's a no. So I'm going to go back to above, the cell above. So that will keep the barriers moving down until the train hits trip B. And when it does hit trip B, it's a yes. I don't want anything to happen other than a, a short delay of two seconds. Okay. Next, I want everything to revert back. So I've moved the barriers down and now I want a new subroutine. I'm going to call this one train departing. So train departing. Okay. And that's going to reverse the barriers, but I need to call it first from this subroutine. I'm going to place a call after that two second. Train departing, no repeats. Okay, I'll wire it up and I'll add my stop at the bottom before I forget. That subroutine is now complete. It jumps from this call to this subroutine. And this is a simple one. I'm going to have barriers go up. Barriers up, all the lights now will go off. The red signal will go back on, green signal off, barriers will reverse, power set to 100% full power. I'm going to give that a few seconds of delay to make sure it works, gives it time to operate. And that's that subroutine complete, so it needs a stop. Now what happens at the end of this subroutine is it will jump back to this subroutine. And this subroutine will just start the whole, the main program, sorry, will begin again from the beginning. So the whole process will jump from here to here, and then we will start this one again. And it should endlessly work, and I'll see how successful it is by opening the Mimic and pressing Run. Seems flawless so far, I'll let it run another circuit. Okay. Flashing lights, barriers down, signal to green, train goes through, hits the second trip, barriers up, all the lights off, perfect. And that's the solution. So I'll leave that on stop, get rid of that, and I'll just reduce that a little bit in size so you can see the whole thing. And that's one solution. You could have done this many, many other ways. Not necessarily uh, any of them wrong, it's just everybody may come up with a different solution. But if you're really struggling with this and you just want to copy this one just to see it working, for the satisfaction of doing so, then you're welcome.